Now, talking about the weather has always been a bit of a national obsession. But in the last few years, we've all had very good reason. A bitterly cold spring, which followed a soaking wet summer. Well, it's been so strange recently that today the country's top experts have been meeting at the Met Office to try and find out what on earth is going on. Our weather presenter, Liam Dutton, has been listening in. March 2012, and the English landscape shows signs of a drought following the driest 18 months in a century. Grass brown, rivers and reservoirs running low. But no sooner than the hosepipe bans were introduced, the heavens opened and stayed open for the rest of the year. April and June were both the wettest we've ever seen. Streets turned into rivers, homes and businesses flooded in what went on to become the second wettest year on record. And if that wasn't enough, we've just had the coldest spring in 50 years. And the cause of this, the jet stream. That fast-moving ribbon of air five miles above our heads that circles around the planet at mid-latitudes, travelling from west to east at speeds of up to 200 miles an hour. It's the jet stream up there that determines the weather that we experience down here. So if that gets stuck, then so does the weather. There are many factors that may cause the jet stream to get stuck, from the temperatures of our oceans to weather patterns in the tropics. But one possible answer lies here, in the Arctic, where the climate has been changing rapidly. Declining Arctic sea ice means that less of the sun's energy is reflected back into space, causing the Arctic to warm up. The jet stream is driven by the temperature contrast between the cold poles and warm equator. But as the Arctic heats up, this temperature contrast is lessened, causing the jet stream to weaken, meander around more and become prone to getting stuck. It's this that leads to the same weather pattern effect in the same place for longer periods of time, causing extremes. And it's these extremes of weather that has led to 20 scientists gathering at the Met Office today to talk about whether natural variability or climate change is the cause. So what's the verdict? It's not necessarily the warming of the ocean, it's the pattern of warm and cold water. So it's the contrast in the warm and the cold. And when that sits in the right place beneath the jet stream, it can kind of steer the jet stream and influence where it goes and whether it hits this north or this south pattern. Last week, the National Farmers Union reported that wheat harvests in the UK are likely to be 30% lower than last year due to extreme weather. And we're not alone. Crops in other parts of the world are being hit hard as well, at a time when global population continues to grow. This highlights the importance of understanding what is going on in the atmosphere and how it may impact upon us in the future.